And we start off right away with breaking news at five, a school bus crash in West Dallas. This is a live picture from HD Chopper 8. There you see that bus still on its side, several students injured and traffic now backed up right in the heart of our evening rush hour. Details just now coming into our newsroom. And we want to get to right to our Teresa Woodard. She has all the latest information for us. Teresa? Yeah, John Izzy, it's certainly a frightening sight. Let's take a live look at that uh, picture from HD Chopper 8 as we can tell you what we have learned from the Dallas County Sheriff's Department. This school bus is from Bishop Dunn Catholic School in Dallas. Four of the students who were on this bus were injured and went to Methodist Hospital. We just got word that one is 17. Three of those students are 15 years old. All of them, thank goodness, are in stable condition. Their injuries not life threatening. That's according to the Dallas County Sheriff's Department. Let's now, if we can, take a look at some of the video that was shot earlier by HD Chopper 8 just to give you a better idea of the scene out there. There were several cars along the shoulder and off the road, and then that really frightening picture that school bus on its side in a ditch. This is on westbound 30, right as you're approaching Loop 12 Walton Walker, and this happened just after 4 o'clock. You can see uh, we were watching as some of the students were taken by stretcher, put on ambulances, and then taken to the hospital. Now, the traffic backup with commuters heading west out of downtown Dallas right now is absolutely awful, and it is likely that as this investigation rolls on, it is just going to get worse. One more live look at the scene as we recap here. This school bus from Bishop Dunn Catholic School, it crashed on I-30 westbound near Loop 12 Walton Walker, Four teenagers who were on board were taken to Methodist Hospital, all, thank goodness, in stable condition. At least three other cars were involved in this crash, but as of now, it appears from the Dallas County Sheriff's Department that there were no major injuries to report. We'll continue to keep an eye on this and keep you updated throughout the newscast. Live in the Dallas Newsroom, Teresa Woodard, Channel 8 News. All right, Teresa, well, that is some good news.